I'm Nikki and welcome to the Preppy Possum. Today I'm going to lead you step by step through a painting. Today we're going to paint some cacti. So three cacti. Let's start by grabbing maybe like a number six or something and dry it off and grab like a really light gray, a super light gray, because it's just going to kind of be like a placeholder. And I'm going to start in the middle and just skip up like a smidge from the bottom center of the canvas. And I'm going to do a droopy little line. And then once I get the droop on there, then I'm going to let it flare out to both sides. So on the left hand side, it's going to kind of flare to the left. And on the right hand side, it's going to kind of flare to the right. But don't worry about your shape too much because we'll come back and shape it up. And then at the top, we're going to do like a, a line that just kind of barely droops to close it off. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the left and the right. So just skip up a smidge from the bottom. And then and if y'all are like perfectionist types, you can always like make a stencil or trace something for this part too if you want to. Mine are hand thrown pots, so they're not really exact. Just as long as they're like similar. Well, I guess that doesn't even matter either. All right. Okay, so we got the start to our pots. Now I'm gonna grab like a little bit of white with it. So some white and light gray. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fill them all in. I'm gonna kind of start in the middle of all three. So I have some white and some light gray together. And I'm just filling them in with a layer just to get some paint on there. So for right now, it doesn't matter like which way your brush stroke goes or anything like that. Now you could probably use the same brush if you wanted to, or you could like get like a number four if you want to go smaller. But I'm just going to kind of wipe this one off, so I'm still like using a number six. I'm going to wipe it off and grab some dark gray. And now I'm just going to trace around my pots. And don't worry if you like chop part of your little pots off, because we'll come back and add to it. It won't matter. I would just make sure for this part that you have a little bit that gets right up next to your pot. It doesn't matter if you chop it off a little bit, you just don't want to leave any white canvas between the pot and the background. Now we have a little bit around all of our pots. Go ahead and wipe that one off and chunk it. And let's grab like a huge brush. So whatever big brush you have at home will work. I'm using like an inch brush, so it's pretty big. And dry it off. And we're gonna grab some more of that dark gray. But you could do your background any color. I just really like gray. 
And it'll look good with our cacti. The white and green and pink and gray. And don't worry about like which way your brush strokes go because we can always come back and thicken up this background around our plants. So I would just kind of go for it any which way. So we have all the background. So let's just wipe that one off and chunk it in the water and let it dry for just a second. All right, so now we have a little bit on our background. Let's go ahead and maybe hit our pots one time or maybe the middle of them. So just kind of grab like a number six again and dry it off. And let's grab some bright white and I'm just gonna throw a little bit of white side to side through the middle of each one starting out. I'm probably not gonna get right up next to my edges of them because the background's still a tiny bit wet. Once you have a little bit of white through the middle, then just grab like a little bit of white and light gray again. And let's throw just a little bit of that towards like the left hand side, the right hand side, and the bottom of all three of our pots. So we have another layer on all of our pots, so let's just wipe that one off. And you don't even have to rinse it out, just kind of wipe it off. And let's grab some dark green. And I'm gonna skip over here to my first pot, and I'm gonna do like, kind of think like a balloon. Let it balloon out to the left and the right. So it's kind of coming from the pot, but it balloons out. And y'all can make yours taller, shorter, however you wanna do it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and fill it all in with a layer of dark green. And for this part, just go any which way. So just kind of grab it and go for it.
All right, so we have our base on there. Then I'm gonna grab like a little bit of like lighter greens and maybe even like a sea foam. And we're gonna make these like a little skinnier towards the top and then they get a little bit bigger at the bottom. So I'm gonna start like a little left to center. And they're like skinnier at the top and the bottom. And I'm gonna do probably like at least four of those lines or so. So you just wanna like skip a little sliver. And don't worry that that dark green is still like really wet because we'll come back and throw more on this. We're just getting a little start to it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add like another one on the left and the right. All right, so we have the start to that one. So let's go ahead and wipe that brush off and chunk it in the water. And let's grab a little bit smaller brush, so like a better drawing size brush, so like a number four. And I'm gonna dry it off. And I'm gonna grab more of like the light greens and sea foam again. So like a slimy, limey green, some sea foam. And I'm gonna start right here at the middle pot. I'm gonna start with like kind of a tall oval. And then once I get that on there, then right on top of it, I'm gonna do like a smaller shape. Kind of have it start skinny towards your oval and then it's gonna kind of balloon out. So kind of think like a balloon. And it doesn't matter if yours comes up higher than mine or anything. And then once you get that, then we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna throw another little one on top. And I might even have this one like lean a little bit just to make it like a little more natural. And then I'm gonna throw a few more, arm, like a little arm maybe on this side. So you just want it a little bit bigger at the top and it comes in like skinny where it touches. And then I'm gonna skip back to the bottom and I'm gonna do a smaller oval kind of right there to the next to that, right there next to the one we started with. And then I'm gonna do like another kind of a little oval shape right on top of that one. And then I'm gonna throw like kind of two little milk dud kind of size little pieces on top. One can be bigger than the other, it doesn't really matter. And then once you have all the start to your little cacti, then grab more paint and we're just gonna fill it in with a layer just to get a layer of paint on there. So it doesn't really matter like if it's streaky or anything because we're just gonna let it dry for a second. Just when you're using like a drawing size brush like this to fill it in, make sure you grab a lot of paint. You just don't want to mess up your brush scrubbing it and make it, the bristles go out. All right, so we have the start to our cactus in the middle. All right, so then I'm gonna keep those same colors on my brush, so like some slimy limey, some sea foam, and you could even grab a tiny bit of white with it. And we're gonna do some light pieces over here through the right hand side. So we're gonna make them kind of like thicker towards our pot and then they're gonna get skinnier as they come out. 
And I'm just gonna do one at a time and fill them in. And don't worry that they're super streaky because we're gonna come back and throw more paint on them. But the trick to getting like a good smooth line is to use a lot of paint and then just be real light with it. So I'm still using that like number four and have my light blades on there. Now I'm going to grab a little bit of the medium green, still with some of that other. You don't have to like wipe it off or anything. And I'm going to do a few with that color. But don't worry too much about what it looks like because we'll come back and throw more on there. And then I'm gonna throw like a little piece over here. And then like maybe like a little half of one. And then you don't even have to like rinse it out or anything, just grab some really dark green. And we're gonna go ahead and do a few pieces with a really dark green. And don't worry if any of them get a little cray cray, we can always trim them up. All right, so we have the start to our little cacti over there. So now let's grab, I'm gonna grab even a little bit more dark green, and I'm just gonna throw a little bit through my dark green slivers on my cactus over here. But just remember to kind of load your brush and be a little wiggly with it, because you don't want it to look too perfect. And then I'm just gonna grab a little bit more of like lighter greens and some sea foam. And I'm gonna do a few more wiggles through my little light sections on that one. And you want it to be streaky. So I'm gonna throw a few little light squiggles. And then I'm gonna grab even a little medium green with that. 
Maybe throw a little bit of that where it touches the dark. And the paint's going to dry a little bit darker than it goes on. So I might even come back and throw a few more light ones. All right, so we have the start to that. Then I'm just going to kind of wipe off my extra paint just a tad bit. And I'm going to grab some more lighter colors. So like the slimy limey, the sea foam, more of the light colors like that. And I'm going to throw a little bit of that towards like the left hand side of all my little cactus parts on this little one. Just to kind of but kind of more to the left because I'm going to come back and make it a little bit darker on the right. And then grab like a little bit of medium green with the sea foam and slimy limey. And we're going to kind of add a little bit of dark towards like the right hand side. So we have a little bit of dark going on. Then I'm going to grab a little bit more of the light color, so like Sami Lami Sea Foam, even a tiny bit of white. And I'm going to throw a few streaks through my little white ones. You don't have to fill them all in, but just so we get some streaks through there. And it can kind of like thicken it up through the thin spots. All right. So we have that. Now let's grab a little bit more of that medium green with those others. And let's just kind of throw some streaks, maybe even a little dark too, through our little medium pieces. And then we're going to grab more of that dark green. Whoa, I got a little really dark there. Might have picked up a little black with it. And I'm just going to thicken up kind of the middle of all my little dark pieces. All right, so we got to start on about all of them. Let's go ahead and wipe that one off and rinse it out a little bit. And I'm still going to use a number four so you can kind of rinse that one out and dry it off. And I'm going to grab like some really light pink with even a little bit of bubblegum pink. And I'm just going to throw a few little buds on the top of my little cacti. So I'm going to have it kind of smooth at the bottom and then kind of a jagged, uneven top edge to kind of make it look like a little bloom, like a little bud. And then once I get a start to those, then I can grab like some dark pink and throw like a little dark at the bottom.
All right, so we have the start to that. We'll let it dry for a second, see what it looks like. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and touch my little pots up a little bit. They're a little wonky. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of the like white and light gray again, and I'm gonna put a little bit more through the edges. This one was a little like chopped off in case we happen to chop them off when we didn't mean to or something. And if, you did, if your gray didn't show up before, kind of throw like a little bit of gray through the edges in the bottom again to kind of give it a little bit of a shadow. All right. That helped it a tad bit. Then let's go ahead and wipe that one off and chunk it. And let's grab a teeny tiny brush and dry it off. And I'm gonna grab some like black with a, maybe even a little caramel brown with it. And now I'm gonna skip all through my little cactus in the middle and do, just do some like tiny dots. So you just wanna barely touch this because we're gonna come back and add the little pricks. And whenever you're doing this, make sure you have some that hit on the edges so it doesn't look like your dots are like just through the middle, like you kinda, you want it to look more natural, not intentional. So make sure you have, you know, at least a few that hit on the edges. And then we're gonna do this to like all of our little sections. And then once you have those little dots, then, it's still a little wet over here on our big cactus, but use those same colors. And these dots are gonna be a little bit bigger and we're just gonna do them on the edge of the light color. Well, you could have a little bit on the outside edge too, but whoa, got too much paint on my brush there. And these are more spread out. So not quite as many pricks. All right, so we have the start of our pricks on there and there. So let's wipe that one off a little bit. And now we're gonna grab more like a really light brown, like a caramel color. And we're gonna do kind of like, think, tiny little eyelashes. And some, we'll start with this, uh, our little pricks. And you can do like two or three on some, four on some. You just don't want them all to be the same. So I kind of skip around because you're gonna get better at it too. You just don't want it to look like they're all, you know, exactly the same. And they just barely come off of it. So some can have two, some three, some four. Just some tiny little marks.
have all these little dots on my middle one. So now I'm gonna do some um, little eyelashes over here. And these can be like a little bit longer. I'll kind of skip around. I have a drip going on there, but it'll dry. Just add a little texture. Trying to make sure I hadn't forgotten any of these little dots, my little spikes. I think I got them all. I'm gonna wipe that one off and chunk it and I might add just a few more highlights and then call it good. So I'm gonna grab like a number six. So I might add a few light streaks back in there. because it's probably gonna draw a little bit darker. All right, and then maybe over here, I might add just a few little streaks of sea foam, kind of divide these up a little bit. Okay, I think that got us streaky enough. So now we have our three cactuses. You could always go back if you wanted to add something else to your flowers or something. But I'm just gonna use a teeny tiny brush and sign it. But yeah, cacti. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Be sure to check us out. We're on Cox Street in Asheboro. And be sure to check out our website, www.thepreppypossum.com.